हेलो एवरी वन सो वेरी गुड इवनिंग वंस अगेन टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो आई एम योर फ्रेंड नितीश हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट करंट टॉपिक दैट इज द इंडियाज जी डी पी श्रिंक फ्रेंड्स वी ऑल नो दैट द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडमिक हैज अफेक्टेड नॉट ओनली इंडिया बट द इंटायर वर्ल्ड वेरी बैड बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक the complete india was under the severe lockdown and a lot of people have died so because of all these reasons the indian gdp had shown a very deep decline of 7.3% friends this is the highest dip in the indian gdp this is the highest contraction of the indian gdp since our independence India became independent in 1947 and since then there are only five recession friends recession is an economic term the recession simply means when the gdp growth rate of a country is negative in two consecutive quarter the one quarter is equals to three month of a year for example in india the financial year starts from april to march so the first quarter becomes april may and june so if for the two consecutive quarter the gdp growth rate of a country remains negative then we can say that that country has gone into recession so there are only five times since 1947 that india has gone into recession first after the indo pakistan war and after indo china war in late 1960s india had shown a very large decline india had gone into recession but that recession was only 5% but this time indian gdp had shrunk about 7.3% india gdp has contracted by 7.3% over the past year as per provisional estimates released by the national statistical office nso friends the national statistical office is the, the authority of the indian government that provide the data regarding the economic condition of india so this is a very genuine data it has been four decades since india gdp was in the red the last time before 40 years almost during the iranian revolution in 1979 india had faced a drop in the indian economy by 5.2% that time india had faced a lot of sanctions because of india had tested the first nuclear test in 1975 as well as there was iranian revolution because of which the prices of crude oil the prices of crude oil in india and all over the world has been doubled and that is why india had faced the recession in 1970s this is a very nice picture which shows how all the rating agencies have cut down the prediction of india's growth rate in the fiscal year of 2022 the modi which had predicted about 13.7% of growth rate they have reduced to 9.3% icra ikra who had predicted almost 10.5% they have reduced to 8.9% sbi also reduced from 10.4% to 7.9% and hdfc bank from 11.5% to just 10% and the yes bank ratings has also decreased the last time india's economy saw decline in the growth rate was just before 1980s at that time india was facing a massive crisis at home because of severe drought as well as because of iranian revolution the prices of crude oil had been doubled and that led to the inflation in our country nearly every sector of indian economy has recorded a dip except for the two categories the agriculture forestry and the farming and the electricity gas and water supply only this sector the agriculture forestry electricity gas and water supply they have shown positive growth rate otherwise all the sector industrial sector all the sectors have 
shown negative growth rate the tourism has been affected worsely because we need transport but india was under lockdown and because of that there were lack of tourists visiting the new places and hence the tourism sector which has been the worstly affected it recorded a dip of 18.2% which was in the last year third fastest growing sector now all the eyes all the hopes are only from the rbi because we all know that rbi is the bankers bank rbi is the bank of the government bank of all the banks so all the hopes are from rbi who is the rbi governor of india currently so he is the sakti kanta das generally the rbi in such time during the time of recession they cut down the interest rates repo rate slr crr or they also cut down loan interest rates from the banks we have already witnessed a very high inflation so if the loan interest rates or the crr cash reserve ratio slr statutory liquidity ratio if these are reduced then there will be more money in the hands of indians and which can lead to the further inflation so therefore it is very difficult time for the rbi and our country the rbi is in dilemma what to do but according to the several experts such as the alok sil who is the chairperson of the indian council for research in international economic relations he had said that rbi just follow the wait and watch policy because reducing the loan interest rates can leads to inflation and not reducing the loan interest rate will prevail the recession so this is all in this video i hope you have learned something from this video if you like the lecture please share the video subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon that's all good night